I want to give you a little tour around Zoom as it is probably our best solution for hosting a live class and it also has the ability to record those sessions where you'd be able to upload them to a server later such as YouTube or even Relay. Everyone should have created an account with the confer zoom link that was sent out. If you haven't, then instead of going straight to zoom, go ahead and just do a quick Google search for confer zoom and it will take you to this screen. This is where we want to sign up. This is where we'll get our free accounts, but ultimately we will end up back here in the regular Zoom setting. So once you're here, um, there's a lot of information in here. Uh, you can set a profile picture. So when you first log into a meeting, maybe you just want a photo and your video isn't turned on right away. Um, you have a personal meeting room. Um, you can customize your link to your name. So everything's here. Um, for meetings, it's really easy to schedule a meeting here. You can actually see that I have a meeting scheduled for Monday and I had a meeting today. So to schedule a meeting, you just click schedule a meeting, give it a name. So maybe it's you know, class meeting and you can give a description. You can choose a date when you want to schedule that. So maybe um, 10 a.m. and maybe you want it for one hour or longer, shorter. Usually I schedule a one hour meeting, but I give that 15 minute grace period. Um, I generally don't have any required registration um, or a password because I'm just posting the link to my students, but you do have the option to set all of that. This controls what happens when people log into the meeting, including you. So when you first log in, do you want your video on or off? I generally have mine off and then I turn it on. Same with the participant. Maybe you automatically have them off and then let them choose if they want to turn it on. Your audio, um, usually computer audio works fine, but again, I just put both. And these settings here, if you want to, you can set mute participants on entry so they don't come in making a lot of noise. You could enable a waiting room so that when you join the meeting, then you have to let people in. But sometimes I forget to go look in my waiting room, so I haven't been setting that. And you can also click here where the meeting will automatically record on your computer. If you don't set this, it's okay because there is a record button that you could click later. So I'll leave that one off. So I went ahead and set up that meeting and let's see, can I start this meeting? Just because I think it would be good to show you some of the settings. And perfect. I will join with um, my computer audio. You can test your speaker and microphone as well. And let's see, my in here. So you can see down here that my mute button is off, right? So you can see that I'm talking. My video is off for right now and See if I can look at who's participating. So this little screen down here, this is all of the control area. Um, so right now I'm the only person here and I could pop my video on for just a second and then you can see me, hello. So I'm, I'm gonna shut that back off for now. So really all you would be seeing is a picture of me. Um, you can invite other people to join you right now if you want to. You can um, share your screen. 
So this is what I use most of the time. And this allows you to share like just your screen or you can do a whiteboard. Or if you just had one thing you wanted to be showing people like a PowerPoint presentation, then you could isolate your sharing to just that one application. Generally, I'm going um, through a bunch of different website tabs and a program or two. So I just have my computer set up for all of the things that I will need, and then I will share my screen. So if I click on that, uh, let's see, as I pop out of here, I mean, you won't be able to tell, but I'm able to pop into like all of these different um, websites or into Canvas even, where I can be going over due dates with a student or uh, anything else I might need to show them within the learning management system. A uh, couple other tools that are really helpful is under here under more. This is where I have the option to record the meeting. Um, if I want closed caption, I think I have to either assign someone to type or um, use a different service. So generally I have to caption later, but I can record this. Um, another thing that is really fun is the chat window. So I can type messages to everyone here. Uh, and this might be helpful if you are using Zoom as a class replacement. Maybe your message here is, I need everyone to type their name into the chat window, and I'm going to use that for attendance. So I could write my name, and then it shows up here, and I can type messages. I can also type, I can also choose that I'm sending the message to everyone, or if I actually had anybody in here with me, a list of names would show up and I can send a private message to somebody as well. That becomes a little bit difficult when you are hosting a meeting and doing a side chat. But once students discover that they can communicate with these chat, um, the Zoom chat on the side, uh, it probably makes their learning experience a little more dynamic because they're able to hear the lecture and they're able to chat uh, with their classmates as well. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to show you guys here? That's really about it. Um, once you're sharing that video, um, if you are hosting a meeting, showing a PowerPoint or toggling through websites like this, your video will just show up as a small square in the corner. But I think it is a nice touch for students to be able to see the professor's face in that regard. Uh, let's see if I annotate and I circle something like yes on the screen, which is kind of fun too. So you're able to, you know, make a point or if you're actually in a PowerPoint slide, let's uh, end that and go to PowerPoint. So um, as I'm annotating, I can write um, text on the screen within my presentation. Uh, I can erase things that I don't need to use anymore. So there are some dynamic tools here, which I think are very helpful. I use Zoom all the time. I meet with students on Zoom. I host a weekly session for one of my online classes here. And I do record the sessions so that anyone that wasn't able to attend can then watch the recording later. So if you have any questions about getting started with it, let me know. Um, once your meeting is concluded, you will come down to this more tab and end your meeting. Uh, maybe one other thing to mention is sometimes this little bottom uh, bar gets lost if you have a lot of things open and you just have to toggle down to get it to come back up. So I'll go ahead and end the meeting. And um, I usually end the meeting for all versus leaving the meeting. And 
if the meeting did record, I will get a little screen that pops up and it'll begin to save my recording. And then it generally saves it to a folder it creates on my hard drive. So let me toggle over to that. I have a folder called Zoom. All of the recordings that I have done recently are in here and they create a folder. So for example, the one that I did um, today, let's see, should be here or here. And this is the file. So it has all of these different files in here, which are good. So one of them being the actually the chat text. And I don't know that I actually had any, um, may have had a little bit of chat today. I just had one message. So a student needed to tell me that they needed to leave the call early. So they texted that in there. But if you had all your students writing their name in here to take role, then you would have a record of that. This is the video file. So this was my recording from today. And there you can actually see Let me pause that. So here you're seeing the actual interface and you're seeing me, you're seeing the student that's speaking and then anybody else that maybe wasn't in here yet, um, they would also pop up here. So um, that's just a little glimpse behind the scenes. So one other thing I will show you in Canvas itself, is you can set up your meetings directly from Canvas with Confer Zoom. So if you see here on my left side window, I have the Confer Zoom tool. If you don't have that, you can go to your settings, go to your navigation, and if your Confer Zoom is down here somewhere, all you have to do to bring any of these items up into visibility is simply drag them and leave them there. So you want to find Confer Zoom, click, hold, and drag it up, and then save that interface. And now instead of having to go to the website, I can schedule my calls right here in Canvas. So I can um, go ahead and schedule, schedule next week's call, and that will be for the 19th, that will be for 12 p.m., and that will be for an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so I'll call that week, week eight Zoom session. And I'll go ahead and save that. And now that event is in the calendar. The students will see it. And I can also post an announcement maybe the day before to them saying, um, don't forget to log into our Zoom session on Thursday. Make sure to click on the Confer Zoom link to join the meeting. So back in the Zoom environment, once you do schedule a meeting, and let's go to our meetings here. So I've scheduled that. Um, class meeting, which actually has already taken place. I have an option here to invite attendees and I can copy the invitation. So there's a lot of instruction in here. Generally, all anybody needs is this one, this link that they can join the meeting. And then I can copy that meeting invitation and I can post it in a Canvas announcement or I can post it into an email so everyone can join. One, um, let's see, last thing I want to just make you guys aware of is there is a lot of um, information already within Zoom. 
if I go down here to video tutorials or the knowledge base, um, you will find a lot of information on how to use Zoom, which is probably even better than my video. So how to join a meeting, how to schedule a meeting, um, and scheduling with the several different um, methods, and even looking into breakout rooms. Maybe you have a class where you need students to talk to each other. So that is possible with uh, this, this program. So that's just a glimpse. If anybody is interested in doing a little trial Zoom call, I would be happy to participate in that in just a few minutes. Um, feel free to send me an invitation or send me a, an Outlook uh, meeting request with the meeting invitation inside and I can join you and just to make sure it works. Have fun using Zoom.